Joe is a, an amazing talent, I would say. But two people because of the yeah. Some of them are really high. Sure. Oh, yeah. But I've actually got seeds sprouting in it. That's a bad sign. It is. And they. It's not good for my wood either. My no. sister's much younger than me. Agree. Yeah. So, so we, this is hardy board. It is. So this has no problem. Mm -hmm. But then there's a wood layer, and yeah. I think so, most of it is okay. But I got I I re I kind of sand it and reprime it every mm. couple of years. Sure. Keep it sealed up and not peeling. Yeah. Uh, damn spiders. Um, and I got digging at it. Yeah. And I found that this was rotten. The drip board and the board underneath. Okay. So I had this replaced yeah. by a friend of a friend. He yeah. did a terrible job. Uh -huh. And he broke my hardy board. Yeah. So sure. I see the one piece. Yeah, I mean it's not horrible, but it, it, it would that it, didn't happen. It, it would have been better if it, the right side would would matter. But oh, it's it's a tough. Truth, I really don't approve of drinking while you're working on my house. <laughs> a beer afterwards is good. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I got to messing with the some more, and sure. I found some more. We 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 do way too much of this. Unfortunately, that's a wood product, and it has a failure rate. Where um, there's other things we can replace it with. It probably doesn't help that my gutters need cleaning because it probably keeps an overall moisture level up and then it's been raining too. Well, there's a, there's a lot of contributory negligence. One is the tree and the lack of sun and the extraordinary amount of rain this year. And the other is that oftentimes these boards are cut without the primer on the bottom mm -hmm. so that it leaches up and then it holds and water dissolves everything. If this right here doesn't get caulked or something quickly, this is going to absorb water up to the bottom of this too. Well, yep. that's actually a polymer product, he told me, or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. But mm -hmm. he told me not to caulk. I've always, always had it caulked. And then mm -hmm. when you replaced it, he told me not to caulk it because that's how it breathes. So mm -hmm. I don't know. He was drunk. So if y'all think it should be caulked, it's caulking, we can you know, caulk it. It's for expansion, <laughs> yeah. but the caulk on is still let it expand and contract. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm not an expert on this, but it's sure. like, I know water isn't good in <laughs> So, I have a piece here. The good thing is, you, you can see you're flashing behind it, so hopefully it didn't get beyond that. Alright, let's see. I think we've got four inch on one side, and we've got a, is that a four and a half, and this is a three and a half. So, uh, got it. Okay. And, uh, Brenda, if I understand correctly, that um, you would like this replaced and this replaced, and we have two options, and that goes up pretty high. I'm looking for a seam in that board somewhere. Right there, right above the eyes. Uh, okay. The up there. Right there. And there's a seam here. Joe, would you think, did we go to the seam, or would you think we'd just take about a foot or two off the bottom? Well, you know, the $10 difference, I'd go to the seam. Okay. Yeah, That's fine. And that drip difference. board, I think, I also. Oh, the, yeah. The drip edge. Yeah, yeah. sure. And, I pulled that away. That was all okay, we well, see it's spongy, and let me get a length here on the drip edge. Um, I don't know if the board underneath it is okay or not. Okay, so uh, that's a five foot, and um, our greatest challenge actually is colors and textures. So that would you might have a little bit of this paint somewhere? I have plenty of it. Great, and we and got. I can do the painting. Yeah, this, this so you want us to leave place. it primed only, and you paint. You that would be great. Also. Got it. I mean, I do it anyway every Thank couple you, years. Thank so. you, ma'am. Okay. And I don't know how it is at this edge. Sure. Oh. I guess it's going to be replaced, so it doesn't matter. We would. Yeah. The whole board. Okay. Yeah. I've been fostering some yeah, very sick kittens, so I haven't been outside as much because usually this yeah. would be trimmed up. Sure. And, uh, you said the little, little kitten stretch? I had five of them. Uh oh. And they were found in a barn, and uh -huh. they were bottle fed, and they uh -huh. were possibly um, mm. feline leukemia positive. Mm -mm. But they're all healthy now, so I'm actually. Um, a week ago, started. Uh, two of them already gone. Good. Yeah, two of them already. The bottle fed kittens are so affectionate because they never see a cat as their mama. I they see a three, human as their mama. Right. I just got three of them three days ago. Wow. So, and I'll cut this back before you start. This one's going to be the challenging one because it's behind my gutter. Well, we have to take the gutter off, and what you can actually see is the straps. And it's yeah. just and there's a joint right there. So it's going to be okay. good. And that. Uh, and then this one is this one too. I can. You can sure. And that's another. This one's okay. I repainted actually this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can take another look at it, and if you don't think it's okay. Sure. Um, but this one for sure, you can see. Okay. It's. Um, 
I think these are okay. I just repainted oh, these. Uh, but you're welcome to inspect them. You could probably know better than me, obviously. Um. Right. Yeah, so I, well, I need to find maybe. somebody who do gutters by hand because the last people that would do it would roll a blower across my roof and I know that's not good for it. And I have one of these 3D roofs or 2D roofs or something. It's architectural. So it's going to be yeah. really expensive to it replace well, and I'll have to sure. rip the old one off. Sure. Uh, yeah. it's, it looks like it has a few more years on it, I think. Yeah. You got some side that's um, I think you got a lot of your you think? A lot of you. I hope so. A lot of you. Yeah. I hope so. These architectural roofs we're installing today are lifetime warranty. And what I am concerned about, you see the ridge, the, the yeah. green, and that's, that's the mold. And, and the, past the mold is turning into an algae. And, um, it, it needs to be dry. And, it, and it this does. is bad. Well, we can't, you know, like last night, that that's our problem, is it happens every 48 hours. Yeah. And uh, underneath the mold uh, you see in your soffit, um, a pressure wash would help this dramatically. And, and we actually have a roof cleaner that will help with this stuff too. I'm, I'm, uh, my jury's still out on roof cleaning. Well, I have somebody scheduled, and they didn't have anything until September. And yeah. they do the cleaning by hand, and they'll clean the face of the gutter because obviously the face of the gutter is real dirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they. They told me if I find somebody before then just to call them and cancel them. Sure, okay. But um, I've never had this. I always leave them dry. I have them clean three times a year because I get yeah. leaf, then I get seeds, then I get... Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of trees here. And of frankly, course. if I cut any of them down, and I have, mm -hmm. the other ones grow into the open space. Yeah. And See, I don't really want to have pasture. You have noticed you're siding up to it, right? Yeah, is that just dirt? Because it's cement siding. Um. No. See, it was down tight on top of your roof and the water comes in there for it to cut that's a cut edge mm 